impeccable. In my many visits to Troy, you have come to know me, Talthibius. As an emissary from the army of the Greeks, I come as someone familiar to you, bringing the most recent news. My dear children, it has come, the news we feared the most. They have drawn lots for each of you. That's what you fear. Then where are we to go? To Thessaly? To the land of Cadmus? Where? You are to be separated. You'll be going to different places to serve different masters. Who is to go where? Ask me one at a time. Cassandra, my daughter Cassandra, who has won her? She has already been taken by King Agamemnon as his prize. What? As a slave to his wife? Poor child. No, for himself. She is to be his paramour. But she's a maiden to Apollo, a sacred virgin. That is exactly why he must have her for himself. Then, daughter, discard the temple keys and your holy garments. Is the king's bed not honour enough? And what of the child you took from me a few hours ago? Where is she? You mean... You mean Polyxena? Of course, I mean Polyxena. What lord is she assigned to? She is to honour Achilles too. What strange new custom is this? Since when have the Greeks had handmaidens for their dead? Consider her happy. She is at peace where she is. What are you saying? Is she still alive? You need worry no further. She is free from trouble. And Andromache, wife to my brave Hector, where will she be taken? She has been won by the son of Achilles, Neoptolemus. And so, to my own fate, who was to have me as their aged handmaid? You, Hecuba, have been won by Odysseus, king of Ithaca. What? I am to be a slave to that lawless monster, to a beaks that speaks true, false of every word he utters, to an animal that twists every truth to a lie and turns every known friendship into hatred. I would rather tear each hair from my head and dig my nails deep into my cheeks than become a servant of that vile serpent.